So please give him a big hand, right, Radical Russ. Hey, how y'all you doing? Happy Hemp Fest, everybody. Glad to see you all here. Hey, look, man, my name's Radical Russ Belleville. I'm the Associate Director of Oregon Normal. I'm the Political Director of the Oregon Cannabis Tax Act. I have a talk radio show on XM Satellite called The Russ Belleville Show. I have my own computer consulting business, and I'm the podcaster for Normal. So much for a motivational syndrome. I never worked harder in my life and got paid less. I gave up a big IT career to be here. Why? Because they wanted to drug test me for the big job I was going to get. Six figures, big house, nice car, uh, a theme song on a sitcom, who knows. But uh, at the time I was shaving my head because it's kind of going away. And uh, so they couldn't, uh, they were going to do a hair test. They couldn't take it off of my head. And so I'm like, hey, cool, man. I'm going to buy this hair test right on. And they said, no, no, no. We got a way of... Uh, getting this hair off you. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> what? I had to go into an office and have a, a woman with a single bladed razor Woo! shave my chest and armpit hair for this job. And that was the moment where I said, screw this. This is ridiculous. I'm an American citizen. I deserve the right to work. And if I want to go home and have some marijuana instead of a martini, I should still be able to work. So I want you to think about something here and about what you have to do with this whole movement here. I've got five minutes to speak here. In the five minutes that I'm speaking, seven people will be arrested for marijuana in this country. Seven marijuana arrests in the five minutes that I'm here speaking to you. And a lot of times the drugs are, I do the podcast for normal, right? I'm out at stash.normal.org. If you want to get the news and information of what's happening in the community, check it out at, out at normal.org. And I interview people. I do all these stories day after day after day after day. And, and and what I find is that there's, there's so many people that are misinformed about this issue, especially this year, how we're talking about industrial hemp here at the Seattle Hemp Fest. I hear drug warriors all the time say, we can't legalize industrial hemp. If we were to do that, we'd have no way of being able to detect it. As we fly our helicopters, we wouldn't be able to tell the difference between hemp and marijuana. And I say, try smoking either one of them. You'll figure out the difference. Because hemp is not a drug, people. Hemp is not a drug. We've got a country where the Drug Enforcement Administration is in charge of banning something that's not a drug. I thought that was kind of weird until I, until I started thinking that, well, we have a defense Two, department one, one, that often one. goes on the offense, and we have an interior department that takes care Two, of the outdoors. One, so two, I guess one. it's not too weird, right? But I want you all to get involved in this movement because it's all just these little things you can do that make a difference. And part of it is changing the minds of people, changing the hearts and minds. For so many years, people have been inculcated in this idea that marijuana is this demon reefer, this terrible, dangerous drug that will lead to heroin. We need to be the ones that educate our family and friends. And don't stand up for all these reefer madness lies that people bring out. You know, I go, I go these places all the time and, and hear these, these stupid, ridiculous things from the drug czar. And, and I just have to tell them, marijuana has never killed anybody. Hemp is not a drug. I have to keep saying it over and over. But you can do that too. You can influence the people that are around you. Part of what we're doing in Oregon, just to give you a little heads up, is we've got a thing called the Oregon Cannabis Tax Act. We are going to tax and regulate the sales of marijuana in liquor stores to adults over 21. Yeah. You want a party? You can go in, get some Bacardi, get yourself a bud, have yourself a great weekend. And we'll check IDs. That's the biggest thing. There are one million teenage drug dealer, teenage marijuana dealers in this country. Nobody's checking any IDs in this situation. If you want to protect kids, you regulate it, you tax it. But we're not going to tax and regulate it for people who want to grow their own. If you want to grow your own, it's your own business, it's your own privacy. No license, no registration, no fee, no tax. And we will completely legalize industrial hemp. No, it's regular old crop. You can grow hemp. Uh, and we can take all those farms that are going down in Oregon. We can take all those timber jobs with the timber money going away. They can make hemp press board. There's just so many ways that this can make a difference. Last thing I want to tell you is that the way you can make a difference is by calling your Congress. If you got a cell phone, program this number. You ready? This is your Congress. Get your cell phones out. Come on, cell phone. Cell phone. It's 202 224 3121. That's 202 224 3121. That's your Congress. They'll just ask your zip code. They'll send you right through to your representative. Tell them to support 
H.R. 5843, which ends federal check, check. penalties for Yo. marijuana possession. 202-224-3121. I'll be down at the Oregon Normal booth on the far side, out in the south side. Thank you all for coming out here to Hempfest. God damn it! Give me that for Radical Russ there. Come on. Yeah. Come on, these guys.